All right, this video is going to be a little bit different to what we usually do. Um, I've been playing a lot of RuneScape at the moment. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's basically um, an MMORPG. So it's a massive multiplayer online role-playing game. And basically what it is, you just level up skills and try and get 99, which is the top level of the skills in each skill. And there's over 20 skills to do as well. Most of you probably have never heard of it, but it's free to play. This isn't an ad, this is, but it's free to play. And I recommend you go check it out anyway. But I found a server that will mash the two together. So we've got Minecraft and we've got RuneScape in one. Now this is available for Bedrock as well, but I couldn't get it working. So I've had to jump over to Java to get it working and I haven't been on it yet. And it's got Mindscape, if you wanted to know. I'll, I'll link the download in the description if you wanted to play or have a go as well. But let's get straight into it. Okay, okay, we did. I'm so excited. Oh my god, this is Tutorial Island. <laughs> so you can see up on the right, that's our labels. Um, oh, the music as well, brilliant. So we've got level one on everything at the moment. Okay, we need to speak to er Erelec. Okay, how do we do that? We just click. Okay, Mindsc Mindscape is an MMORPG, like we said, inside Minecraft. It combines RuneScape and Minecraft in a unique, unique way. Mindscape started in 2012. Lovely. The game contains various skills and bosses. We know this. The island is meant to present you with some of the skills we have in the game. Make sure you turn on the server resource pack. Uh, this is your first quest. You can open your quest menu by doing quests or on bedrock by selecting your last slot and clicking with it. I got a bronze axe. Right, which tree? Any tree? Small oak. Okay. And I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> That's brilliant. Logs can be transformed into various materials. Woodcut is, a, is an essential part of Mindscape. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is we're going to jump through this uh, tutorial island and then I'll meet you on the other side. <laughs> oh, we got fishing too. This is cool. So I use my small fishing net to start fishing. Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. There you go. We done it. Amazing. We're cooking, boys. <laughs> Let's cook. 99 cooking boys. There you go. Sweet. Let's go. Yeah, so the original RuneScape has released, or old school RuneScape has released leagues over the last uh, couple of days. And it came out, I think, four days ago. And I think I've already put in about 40 hours. Take this pickaxe and click copper ore. Can you mine? Can you mine one copper ore? Ah, uh, yeah. So with this, it's not like Minecraft now, I don't think. So we just click it once. And it, and it automatically mines for us, okay. Can you mine one tin ore? Yes, we're making a bronze bar, boys. Okay, so one bronze bar. That's so cool. Now the final step, can you transform the bronze bar into a bronze dagger? Ah, uh, we're gonna go bronze dagger. Sick. Materials you gathered, lovely. You can now follow the path to the combat instructor that he's awaiting for you. He even looks like him, that's cool. And I gotta kill a rat, yeah. Sick. Okay. So that's actually like Minecraft combat then, so you gotta actually like hit them. Follow the path up the bank, the bank manager will create your bank account. See you later. Give me a bank. I want a bank account, please. Uh, so precious items, we know this. Each account comes with a bank spread of over nine tabs. Follow the path of the magic instructor. Use your last instructor of the day. May his journey be with you. Okay. Henrik. Or Herrick. You took your time. I thought you wouldn't come. Okay. I'm Herrick. Magic instructor. <laughs> oh, I got a magic wand. Sick. Hit the 28. Whoa, look at that. Beast mode. The world of Mindscape awaits. You can now... Open your spells again and click the home teleport. Spells, home teleport. Don't move. <laughs> Quest complete. It even looks the same, it's great. Okay, we should be in Lumbridge. Lumbridge Castle. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay. Uh so we're in Lumbridge Castle. This is like the this is like the main place where you well, this is where you start in the game. So it it looks pretty similar as well now if we have a look around we should be able to find uh a guy now have i got thieving on this 
Yes, we do. Thieves is a good source of income. Monsters will drop coins and items without you needing to defeat the monster. If you fail, the monster will try and attack you. The chances of failing decrease when your level becomes higher. Okay. So how do we thieve is the question. In Lumbridge, there's always a guy hanging around the front. Uh, you got Hans, who's the guy you speak to if you want to know how long you've been playing the game. And we've got a man, which I think... No, I didn't want to smack him, man. I don't have any rooms. Sorry, man. I just wanted to pickpocket you. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that yet. Oh, he's, he's, he's actually quite... He's actually quite hard. Oh, I'm stuck in the fountain. 360. Ah, oh, sneak. Right click. Oh, 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 oh. The MC caught you while thieving. What are you doing? Uh, oh, oh, that's the stun. Nah, that makes sense. So I've just come behind Glumbridge Castle, so we're going to do some wood cutting. As always, if you start at RuneScape World. Oh, I need level 15. It's an oak tree. Right, okay. So we just need to find normal trees to cut down. I'm assuming oaks... What's this one? Is this normal? Oh, no, that's... Uh, that's oak log. Oak as well. Oh, we got to mess up a goblin too. It'll be rude not to if we don't come here. And we don't mess up a goblin. Can we go in F? <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> There we go. Brilliant. What do we get from him? Do we get... We can bury the bones, though. Okay. We're burying bones. Amazing. We're cutting logs for days. Get that wood cutting level up. We currently... What's our wood cutting level? Our wood cutting level. So we do level one. We need level two. Let's go. Oh, we need to do a quest. Can we do a quest? Let's go see if we can do a cook's assistant. Being in RuneScape in first person is just weird. <laughs> it shouldn't be allowed. But if we go in here, there should be a chef who's a bit distraught. Oh, he hasn't got the right outfit, but that's fine. Lumbridge cook. Right click for the quest. I need a cook and assistant. Do you think you could help me? It's a disaster. Some young folks are trying to get married. I don't have the proper ingredients. Could you bring me an egg? And be quick. Okay. You bring me an egg. Simply right-click the chicken and be quick. Okay, so we need... Uh, I know this quest. We need an egg. We need a bucket of milk and a pot of flour. So let's go. All right, we made it to the chicken. So let's get an egg. If you right-click a chicken, found an egg. Did I keep it? Or is it... Uh, let's have a look. Where's our egg? Oh, we got some coins. We got 500 GP. Nice. We got a feather. Uh, I don't see the egg, though. Does that automatically get collected as... Okay, I think i got to go back. I think this, usually within the game I can collect all three and go and complete the quest. I think with this i got to go back to him. Let's see if I can find the dairy cow first. See if I get some milk before I go back. You need to be level 90 to break corn. I don't want to break corn. I need milk. That's fine. We'll go back anyway and see what he says. And again, whilst passing through the goblin territory, it'll be rude not to smack one up a bit. <laughs> Come out, me bro. 19. Nice. 17. Nice. Oh, rewind. And we got some corporal as well. Nice. Okay, sir. That's your egg. That should do it. Wait, where's the milk? Can you please get me some milk? You should be able to find cows nearby. Yeah, so it has to be one at a time, I'm assuming, with this one. So let's get bloody milk. Okay, and there's your milk. And now you're going to need flour. Uh, can you please get me five? Oh, five melons. That's new. Okay, I'll go get you five melons. Uh, meet the requirements. You don't have the items. I need melons. Where am I going to get melons from? Well, we'll find out anyway. Looking for melons, and I'm not sure where they're going to be. We got the sheep pen. Let's have a look at the sheep pen. I wonder if they got the, the penguins disguised as sheep. <laughs> so let's, let's have a little look around. It's a little Easter egg if it was like a sheep with a different name or a sheep with two penguins waddling underneath it. Oh, there's Nimp. Nimps look cool. Okay, right. Onwards with a melon mission. Oh, I'm building a fire. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll just go through that. <laughs> I don't know what we've done there. But we found melons, so we can get melons. We need three, I think. 
Uh, let's, let's check. Uh, quests. Five melons. I need... Yeah, no, we'll just, we'll just get five of these. I think 15 means how much health it'll, uh, it'll restore. But let's take these back anyway. Okay, so this must be the last part of the quest. There's only three ingredients on the other one. It's flour though, not melons, but we'll have a go. Perfect. Hey, quest complete. You obtained 200 XP in cooking. You're now level three in cooking. I can now cook rats and I can cook sheep. Lovely. <laughs> so that's our first quest done. Sick. I can't leave Lumbridge without uh, checking out the bank upstairs. So we've got this floor, which is where you do... Uh, if I have a look, you've got your... Sp oh. Where's my spinning wheel? This is the king's room, but there's usually uh, somewhere where you can spill, uh, spin balls of wool. But they must not have it on here. Let's go check the bank upstairs anyway. <laughs> upstairs, Lumby. <laughs> Let's go. In the bank, we've got a man. A skull. Nice, and we've got the bank. Let's open my bank. I got nothing in there at the moment, but I can put the copper in there. I can put. Uh, oh, I got rat. I can take that back out actually. So what we're gonna do is we're going to. We got a spare axe and a spare sword. We haven't got a spare sword. We got that, that. And I think we'll keep everything else out for now. Okay, that that should do. I'm not sure how long this video was, but uh, it's taken a while to record anyway. But I'm definitely going to go see what Varrock looks like in the next episode. You can see just behind me, a little bit of Draenor should be over that way. And we'll try to see if there's any sort of agility courses there. But if you like this series, give it a like and we can definitely do more. I might do a couple of more episodes just so you can see a bit more of the game. But so far, I'm liking it. I think it's amazing. I think it's something that shouldn't have been done though. <laughs> <laughs> because RuneScape in first person is creepy. I don't like it. I think it's a successful first episode. So yeah, if you like it, give it a like. And uh, we'll do another one. And obviously subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.